Hi, violinists of YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to share my thoughts on how you can memorize your violin music in an efficient way. Stick around to the end of the video for this tutorial. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin tips, how-to tutorials, and also do some personal vlogs. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. And it also helps me out to provide more content for you. As I look back on my early music education and how I was able to play the violin and how I was able to memorize music, part of it was just repetition. I think repetition helps with the, the, the muscle memory, if you believe in muscle memory. If you're a young student learning how to play the violin, then repetition is really good for just letting your brain know what the motions of the fingers are. And if you do it slowly, you forget it slowly. That's what Mr. Itzhak Perlman said you know, in one of his master classes, that if you play slowly, if you practice slowly, you're gonna forget slowly. And if you practice fast, you're gonna forget fast. So my advice for you is just to rep to repeat in a way that you're not going to um, forget it fast. The second tip that I would give anyone who's struggling to memorize music is to look at the music, look at the score without your instrument. I think there's some value into actually trying to listen to the music in your head by looking at the sheet of music, by looking at the things that you're trying to work on and try to visualize that in your head. So what I would do as part of your practice, I would leave your violin in its case. I would take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to kind of look at the music and don't just look and skim through the music as if you're skimming through a book. Go through each measure every single measure, every single note, and see if you can play the music in your head. If you can visualize yourself doing that music without the violin, then you'll have a lot more success in memorizing your music. You know, we're instrumentalists, and sometimes we're a little self-conscious when we have to sing music, but I feel like singing music has actually helped me memorize music in general. As an exercise, what I want you to do at home is to listen to the music and I want you to sing the music that you're performing or that you're playing. And that'll give you a good sense if you are truly memorizing the music because if there's a moment where you're like stuck, then that moment is where you should practice uh, with your violin and how you should continue the music. So singing is an integral part of my teaching. It has helped me memorize music. So that way I also get like a sense of pitch in my, in my body, in my ears, and in my mind. So that really, really helps. And I'm not suggesting that you go out and sing your piece, right? This is just for practice purposes. If it's in the shower, fine, I, I do sing in the shower, <laughs> uh, my music or whatnot. Although it's kind of strange to be able to sing like Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto in the shower. That's kind of weird. So yeah, singing is a really, really beneficial thing to do when you're practicing, when you're trying to memorize music. And in that same realm, what I like to suggest is to study the score. And what is a score? A score is not like, you know, Eric gets two points, student gets zero points. It's not that. A score is is, a, is the sheet music, let's say if you're playing with a violin and a piano, you're the violinist and you're playing with a pianist, the score is all the music in front of you. So it's not just your violin part, it's the violin part and the piano part. And your job is to memorize what the piano part has. That is called score studying. And we want to be efficient in our score studying, so that way we are memorizing little licks that we can't, we're having difficulty memorizing. I, I find for me, if I'm trying to memorize a new piece, I take a look at what the other parts around me have and I try to see how I can fit that in the context of their part. And the moment I understand everybody else's part, then it's easier for me to memorize, okay, this is the harmonic structure, this is my melody here, and this is how it's gonna help me flow into the part where I'm having trouble with memorization. And if you liked this video so far, please make sure to hit the like button for the algorithm and also leave a comment down below. What do you struggle with with memorization on your violin? I wanna know your thoughts, your comments, your concerns in the comment section below, and I respond to every comment, so please make sure to comment. Now the last piece of advice I'm gonna give is something that I learned from doing sports when I was young. In order to perform and to excel at your, at your peak, at your maximum, I recommend that you focus on your sleep. Sleep helps with memorization, and not just in violin, of course, in everything that we do in life. If you don't get the amount of proper sleep, depending on each body type, for me, it's like 
seven to eight hours. I'm on like a pretty strict sleeping cycle. Like I go to bed 11, I wake up at seven, pretty much like on the dot every single morning. My body clock is kind of in that rhythm now. If I go to bed like 11.30 or midnight, then my body is like really cranky. I can't memorize things. My brain is all fuzzy. So I would get into a rhythm of having a sleep cycle and having a steady sleep cycle will help you with memorization, will help you play better overall because you're getting enough rest every single night. I would say that rest is like the majority of the, the steps in comparison to the other ones that I explained before. I think rest is the most important thing because if you have proper rest, then you can really execute the other tips that I gave you earlier in this video. And I hope you found value in this video. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button for more violent content on this channel. I really appreciate your support. And uh, again, leave a comment down below. What do you struggle with with memorizing your music? I wanna know from you and I'll comment accordingly. Please make sure to watch some other videos on the YouTube channel so that way you can get caught up. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.